Hey everybody, it's Chris with LG Squared, architect of the Atlanta Craftsman Passive House, where a few months ago, Corbett Lunsford came by from the Building Performance Workshop, and he did a blow at our test, and we got to zero. This is before we put windows and penetrations in, but we're going to do the same air sealing around windows and penetrations that we did on the rest of the house, so we believe we're going to maintain this zero air leakage. We did a video about what happens when we change the air leakage, what happens to the loads, especially the heating. And we re we saw that when we go from zero to five ACH 50, which is code, we doubled our heating. So now let's look at the latent loads. In the other video that we did, we talked only about sensible and the heating loads. So let's talk about latent loads. At zero air leakage, which is what we've entered here, 0 0.01, we have a, these are our loads, right? These are our latent loads, 1,500 up, uh, downstairs and 14. So a total of about 3,000, uh, 3, okay? 29, 2,900. If we go back to here and we enter the code requirement, that's what the code says we have to be at, no more than that. We've doubled everything, all right? Latent load went to 3,300 upstairs and 3,800 downstairs. Quite a, quite a jump. But I want to point out one thing. This infiltration number that I'm highlighting right here, this is what changed. So going back to 0 0.01, and then we look at the load, we're at five. So infiltration has a five BTUs upstairs and four BTUs downstairs. Basically nothing, right? These numbers don't change. This is people. This is room ventilation. For all you HVAC designers out there, I am doing room ventilation rather than central, and I have a good reason for that. Reach out and I'll explain it. But this is what it looks like when you're doing zero air leakage. And then if you go and change it to the code requirement, let's look at it one more time. These are the numbers we have for infiltration, the 2300 upstairs and the 1900 downstairs. Going from basically zero, five and four, we have gone up quite a bit. So this is, this is, these are the reasons I am trying to chase zero in my, in the houses we design and build, because I don't want any of that to come in the house because I don't have control over it. I want full control over the air that's coming in and leaving the building. So I know what's going to happen to the interior and what's, what the people are going to breathe. I do that through balanced ventilation. We have an ERV in this house. Let me know if you have any questions about, I wanted to answer this great question from Jake Smith about latent loads. Here's what it is. Please reach out to me. Let me know if you have any questions about this. It's geeky. So until next time, bye for now.